This is the expectant daddy of our first foal. This is Big Bad Bob, one of our six stallions for this year. And Bob is a very expectant father. Uh, he's a very successful stallion. And we hope that the Dream Away foal this year will be another one to add to the legend of Big Bad Bob. She's the first of the Irish National Stud Mares to uh, fold this year, where, um, so hopefully it's going to be a lovely fold. bandage on the mare so it's just a case now of keeping an eye on her from here on in until she breaks waters and starts to foal. She's very uneasy at the moment she's walking around the box there she's sweating up she's steaming up you can see the steam is rising up off her body and she, she's having contractions so she's starting to she's starting to go into labour this basically would be the first stage of labour and as soon as she breaks waters then she's straight into the second stage of labour. Lads, I'd say we're up here now with Dream Away. She's starting to sweat up a bit, so we'll get the folding kit ready. Just take it easy now and we have a look. Hold on there and I see. Yep, she's actually breaking waters there now. So that's perfect. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to check the presentation that the fold is coming out the right way. So we just get a glove here each. Hopefully everything will go to plan. Good girl. Oh, honey bunch.
Well, it's half five here in the morning and finally Dream Away decided to have her foal. So it was a perfectly normal, straightforward foaling, which is always great and resulting in a beautiful um, bay colt here by Big Bad Bob. So I think she's quite a proud mother. She seems to be anyway. Uh, so we're just waiting now for the foal to get up and as you can see, he's starting to make efforts already. So. I reckon he's gonna be a, a strong little fella, please God, just like his mum. Now, so we just checked the quality of the colostrum. Yeah, so it looks a good colour anyway. And fantastic, it's still 30%, so that's sufficient colostrum for the fold, so that's, that's good news. Good girl, you can let her lick if she wants to lick you. Yeah. All the better. From the moment of birth, um, you would give the foal up to approximately two hours to, to nurse. So at this stage, he is, he's well ahead of that. So he's, he's, he's absolutely fine. And he's on it there. Oh, oh, he's a determined little chap. Hold on now. Try and keep her. If you come round this side as well, actually, George. Yeah, same side as us, yeah. He may actually get down for a little sleep now after that and um, he'll get back up again then that bit more stronger. Okay, we can let her go there and we'll, we'll leave them in peace. So literally everything is recorded here from the time it was born the time it nursed, everything, the colour, the date, the percentage of the colostrum, everything is recorded here in the diary. And we actually have the diary here going back to the year 2000. So every fall, there's hundreds and hundreds and thousands of them there literally in the diary. So we keep a record of everything. And some mares would be here every year, so we build up a history on them. So we would know characteristics and different um, mares, different ways they might carry on. So it, it's handy to look back and when a mare arrives into the unit, we would look up her history straight away and see is there anything we need to be aware of? Is this mare maybe a little bit aggressive or, you know, has she had complications in the past? So it, 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 it's actually a very good system. In our full check, really, we just start from the head and work back. So things that we're looking for is signs of disease, illness, and any congenital deformities. 
Um, so as I said, I start from the head, so I usually start with the eyes. The eyes can tell you a lot, like dehydration, colour is quite important, whether we have any problems with the eyelids turned in, causing scratches of the surface of the eye or turned outwards, both can be fixed. Um, then working down the nostrils that they're nice and clear, down to the mouth and checking the colour in the membranes of the mouth. And it can tell us a lot from the colour of the, of, the, of the gums, also that the refill time should be within two seconds, so it should be quite quick. And then I run down and I just check over the rib cage. Sometimes in hard foldings we can get little fractured ribs. So just checking that oh, that's all correct. Then running down to the navel and just making sure free of infection. And running back then I check the tail, tail area and that um, in the, the muconium is the first faeces that they pass. And it can be quite difficult in some folds to pass. And of course it's very, very important. And if they are not passing it, we're usually given an enema. Um, which helps to re release that and um, you know other otherwise it can cause serious problems like colic. Other things that I look for then obviously I take their temperature, their respiration and their heart rate and um, their heart rate can vary anywhere from 70 to 100 and you know goes down um, and then we'll say respirates initially in the first hour you're looking at anywhere between 60 80 resps per minute and then within after an hour it can go back down to 30 or 40. So temperature then, temperature tells us a lot as well again infection. Also I look down along the limbs, I like to just rub them down and just see for angular deformities and that. You'll find that it's quite common in, in folds and the majority of them come right but obviously if they're very lax to the tendon maybe they might need support or if they're a little bit over and contracted over with the knees again they need that, that would need more veterinary attention. So that's really what I'm looking for. Also I take a blood I take a haematology which tells us just in amount of immunity and also we do a IgG level which tells us how much colostrum um, basically if, if they've got enough immunity, passive immunity from the mother. Okay and these are the two tests that we run also. And also another injection that we give um, usually after folding is tetanus antitoxin. So I give that just under the skin. So another thing we'd also check is the placenta. Um, obviously that's very very important and that we have the entire placenta so that there's not any left left in the mother because uh, that can lead into a sepsis and even as far as laminitis. Mm -hmm. Other things that we check is the integrity, smell, texture, um, they're all very very important and free of infection. And the other thing also while we're in there we'll check the mare overall as well, her colour is good and that the, the, around the vulva area there isn't much swelling or tear anywhere between the rectum and the vulva and also that she has a good supply of milk for, for the newborn. Okay, so I'm just going to go in now and start that check. Since the birth, Dreamways Fold has been down in the nursery where we have been watching him closely just to see how he is and today is the first day he'll be heading out into the big bad world. is bright alert responsive. I'm just running my hand down along the spine and just down along the rib cage and he seems to be doing body condition score seems to be very good. Okay. Good good just boy. again looking at the navel, always ruling out any infection. Good and that all looks oh. very good. Okay, <laughs> dream away. Um okay just checking also the colour. Okay, dream away. <laughs> it's a nice pink colour there. Nice and healthy. Okay, and we'll just listen to the heart rate now. Oh boy, you're okay. Oh, that's the big man. Okay, and our heart rate's good. And just now our respiration rates. And rest sounds good. Okay. So overall, I think Jim Roy's doing very well. Um, given two weeks on, um, mother's also doing very well, plenty of milk and she's a very good mother. Well, I've just brought 
stream away out to the field. Um, he looks quite content and happy to be out. Um, in a couple of weeks' time, what we'll do is we'll microchip him and we'll take blood sample for DNA and uh, we'll get him a passport. This is what really makes the job worthwhile. Seeing these babies born and take their first steps. It's a little miracle of nature watching these foals.